Hello guys. Hello guys. <laughs> so it's been I don't know like maybe two months since I last uploaded a video. Um and um I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> the reason being there's really no Hi. reason actually. Um I just wasn't really motivated and the whole quarantine happened like right after we got back from Maui. Um Lucas went to school for like maybe a week or two weeks and then he didn't go back and you know everything that's been going on and we've been home like a lot like actually for the past almost three months we've been home other than like going to a grocery store which I usually go by myself um we've been home and there's not much going on but I decided to start vlogging again because we're moving already like it's coming up pretty soon um I'll show you guys a little bit of like what my house looks like and like how I'm packing well not packing but like getting ready for the movers to come pack or stuff um and right now well today later probably in like about an hour I gotta take my car to the shipping place because it's getting shipped today um or at least we're gonna go um we're gonna take it today so it gets shipped. I think it goes out the 26th or the 27th. Later this week it leaves. Um, so we're shipping that today. I washed my car over the week and, well, early this week. And it's ready to go. We're shipping Brad's car a day before we leave the island. So we'll, we'll be shipping his car too. Let me change the battery because it's about to die. So um, I'm gonna turn this around and show you what he wants to see. Say hi. Let's sit here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna turn this around and show you guys kind of what's going on in my house. And, and, no, don't stand here. So this is my kitchen. Um, it looks messy, but it's because I took everything out of this cabinet because we have a lot of these. Um, what do you call it? Wings. What? Termites. We've always had this issue since we moved into this house, like this drawer, I used to always clean it like once a week because it would get this gross. Um, and this is just from like a week, I want to say. So I had all like some of my appliances in here that I didn't really use. So I had to basically clean them all. And that's why they're out here. I'm not going to put them back in there. Why? Because my hat's falling. Oh, your hat's falling? falling? How about like that? Better? It's falling. Okay, then put it here. Put it right here. Um, so yeah, I have all that ready to go. I cleaned everything yesterday. And then up here, I did this. I don't even know what I'm saying. I put away all my spices. I put them into Ziploc bags. And I have like, for example, this bag. There's new ones that are unopened. And I just put them all in a bag just in case anything spills. You know, it's secured within the bag. Um, this stuff, it's stuff that we're still using. Like peanut butter. We've been eating a lot of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Um, and stuff that we're going to use until we move for the next few days. And then once we leave, I'm, I'm just going to have to throw them out. Because... I mean, there's not much in here anyways. So that's what's up with that. Same with the pantry. This is what we're eating currently. Still have a little bit of cereal. All this, it's like stuff that they can pack. I told Brad, if you're not gonna eat it all within the next few days, don't open it. Cause everything that it, that's in here, it's basically like unopened. I just have snacks for the boys, mac and cheese. So this box, I don't know, I just have random snacks for my kids that were running low already. But everything else is pretty much ready to go. And this dining table, you guys know I've hated this since the moment Brad got it without my permission, which I'm still annoyed after like four years. Um, so I've been looking at dining tables and I've been I really like the modern look. So I was thinking a lot of the tables that I like, they were like glass tables, except like the chairs were different. So I'm thinking if it hopefully it goes like what's on my mind, I can make it come to like life, you know? 
I'm thinking about keeping this table and spray painting this maybe a gold or a different color I don't know yet or might keep it silver I don't know like just spray painting this I'm gonna get rid of these nasty ugly red chairs so these chairs are gonna be gone and I'm gonna buy new chairs for this dining table and I think once if like this was gold with like I want to say like a beigey color chairs I would look really cute but We'll have to see when I get there how it all looks, but I think it's gonna work out. And this couch, we're buying a new couch for our new like living room space in our new home. But this couch, I was gonna get rid of it and leave it here, but Brad, I'm gonna show you guys. This is what happens when you have kids. Like ever since like Zach started walking, look what he did. Um, I was gonna get rid of this couch, but Brad's like, why don't we just keep it and put it in the basement? Because our house is most likely gonna have a basement. Um, and that's gonna be Brad's like game room, cave or man cave or whatever. And then I found like a slip for the couch. So it's like a slip that covers like the entire couch. So I might do that and then it's gonna be in the basement. Brad's probably gonna be sitting on it all day anyway, so um we're just gonna keep it for brad who wants to keep it i started taking down like our pictures on the wall except for this mirror i just don't want it to break so i'm just gonna wait until like the very last second to put that down but all the pictures everything like my plants more fake plants are here our pictures are here this does not belong here everything is here i still have a few things upstairs in the boys room that i need to um put down to um and that's basically everything in the living room area as for let me see my oh my god this laundry room is a mess again so these three suitcases are the ones that we're bringing with us for like our stuff for the next month or so and then i went through everything in this this is here in this laundry room so everything that's in here i i cleaned the sink like my, under my sink cabinet too um and this is just stuff like again i put ziploc bags and put stuff in there so everything's like kind of organized so when the movers come they can just throw these things in a box and everything kind of stays together i wash my reusable bags so they're all nice and clean um some of my yoga mats my roller and basically all this is ready to go i know it doesn't look organized zach was playing in here and he moved things around but what can you do I also wash the boys' car seats. Um, I usually like to wash these every month or every, yeah, maybe every month, every two months, just so they're clean. So these are clean and ready to go. Um, so in this bathroom storage room, <laughs> this has been a storage, I already went through all of the boys' toys. So um, there, some of them are in here just so they don't like keep taking things out. So. The toys are in here, and then I also have more toys in here. Wait, let me show them. Um, the little kitchen set thing. I went through everything. I know it doesn't look like it's organized, but I know exactly where everything is and how I want everything to be. Um, decorations. Everything has its place, and like, again, my Ziploc method thing. Um, so I know where everything is. And this is pretty much all ready to go. This used to look so bad before I organized everything, even though it doesn't really look organized, but this is what I have so far. Like, this is good to go and they can pack it. Also, another thing that I wanna share with you guys, I got this little folder thing to store all of all of Lucas's like artwork from school. Cause sometimes they bring so much artwork that I'm like, what do I do with all this? So anything that's like super cute or sentimental, I've been putting it in here. I'm probably gonna get one for um, Zachy too when he starts kindergarten. I love snowman. You love the snowman. Okay, come on, Bubba. Come on. So yeah, that's closet. It's ready to go. I went through the boys' closet. I'm not gonna show you Zach's room because it's like a mess right now. And this is my, I don't know what I call this room. I was never really in this room. I just had it here. But I went through everything. In here I have clothes um, that 
Lucas grew out of that I'm gonna probably use for Zach when he gets a little older. And then I went through all my makeup. I threw away a lot of makeup and I put them again in Ziploc bags in here. So everything that was in these two things are in here now. I went through all my shoes. A lot of them had his mildew or like mold in them because of the humidity. Where is this from? Sorry, I got this. Stop. Stop. Um, some of them had like mold from the humidity in Hawaii been stored for so long. So I had to throw away a few shoes, but these are the ones that I'm going to keep. Like all these. Um... So yeah, that's my shoes. I took all my sunglasses out. There's more toys for the boys in here. And then this and this. I, just not much. They can just put all that in the bag. And then I just realized that I have a lot of these like little backpacks that now that I think about it, I'm like, why did I get so many? I don't really need that many. But it is what it is, right? Come on, Zach. And for the bathrooms, I went through all like the bathrooms in my in our house, like my bathroom and then the small I'm in the half bath right now. And I put everything that needs to go in again the Ziploc bags. Potty things because I was trying to potty train Zach, but he's just not ready and I'm not gonna do it in the middle of moving. So once we get don't touch that. Once we get there, we're gonna start potty training. Once we have like a house. But again, I did bags, lotions. These are almost brand new, so I locked them and put them in a Ziploc bag, um, just so they stay secure. And if anything spills, so everything in Ziploc bags, um, lashes and random stuff I have in here, more random stuff. So everything, all this, I hopefully they, they'll be able to like put this in a box. And that's basically all. <laughs> like what I've been up to this past. Like two to three weeks, I've been just going through everything, the boys' closets, everything. So I think everything's pretty good to go. I just have to finish doing laundry, um, washing all the sheets. I'm probably going to wash all the sheets like a day before. So maybe this Sunday I might go through and wash all the sheets. So everything's just clean and ready. What? Toys in there? And I know I said I wasn't gonna have the boys in my vlogs, but to be honest, like at this point, I cannot not have my kids in my vlogs because they're always around. I can't really edit them out. I can't really avoid them being in my videos. So, hey, don't do that. No, no, no. Hey, Jackie. No, no. Um. So yeah. They're gonna be in my vlogs, I guess I'm just never gonna have comments, but whatever. It's not like I'm getting comments back anyways. So yeah, that's my little update. I'm waiting for Brett. He's on duty today, so he's gonna come. I wanna say in like about, I don't even know what time it is, but he's supposed to come before noon, so he can take me to drop off my car and then drive me back. So that's what I'm up to today. And yeah, I'm gonna keep vlogging because we're going, we're gonna go to California, spend some time with Brad's dad and his brother, and then we are going to Arizona and I'm shipping my car to San Diego and his mom and stepdad are gonna pick it up and drive it to Arizona. So we have a car in Arizona and then we're, we're taking a road trip from Arizona to Maryland. So it's gonna be a busy, busy month for us in July because we're gonna be all over the place. But I'm excited, but then I'm nervous because I've never gone on a road trip with two kids and yeah. Also, I got my, this is gonna be like my travel bag because um, it fits a lot of things. But then I also wanna bring my other cute little backpack that I wear almost all the time. So I need to pack that. I also need to start packing our bags. Maybe tomorrow I'm gonna start doing that. Um, and yeah, that's that's a little update for you guys from us. That's what I've been up to. So it's been a few hours and we drove my car. Well, I took my car to get it Mommy, shipped at 12. Mommy, what's up, dude? Eat. Yeah, I know. We're going to go get food. Because I had an appointment for 12. We get there and they're like, oh no, you're in the wrong place. It's like down the street. We go down the street. They're like, 
oh it's not they're on lunch or something from 11 to 1 so i'm like how then why is my appointment at noon at 12 you know so we go to starbucks get a drink just wait an hour basically and then we go back at one and they're like oh this is not the place where you're supposed to drop off your car and we're just like what like no one told us anything we thought like this is the address that was on the email like their address so <sighs> so anyway so we're like an hour late at this point then so they don't have they have like an hour like grace period so now we have to go back at four o'clock and do the inspection then put your shoe on we're going um do the inspection then and then brad's on duty keep in mind brad's on duty so he had to come home at 12 like at 10 30 to drive my take my car there um and now we're back and they had to wait a, an hour and then we couldn't even get the car there so now he's back in duty for like an hour and a half and then he has to come back like in like 30 minutes <laughs> we gotta drive again <laughs> So yeah, that's how my day is going. Okay, round two. We're gonna go drop off my car now. Hopefully they take it. They say they should at four. Brad's pumping gas. The boys are with him. My car is so clean right now. Um, so yeah. Bye car. I'll see you in like three weeks. So we're home. And oh my god, it was the worst experience ever shipping my car because the place that we got to, we had the appointment, we missed the appointment because they gave us the address to a different location. We get there and it's like a huge warehouse and there's a lot of cars and there's no AC, um, they have no desk, nothing. Literally they had like like those folding tables and that's where they put the, their paperwork and like the guy would get people's keys and they didn't even put a tag in them. So. I don't know. I just hope my car gets to the mainland fine because if not, they're gonna have to pay for my car. But um, yeah, it was like a hot mess. We were in there for like maybe three hours and then we couldn't find the place. We tried calling them, no one answered because I guess their main office is back in the mainland, but they have like obviously office like places here in Hawaii and their customer service in Hawaii is horrible, which I'm not surprised a lot of places here have really, really bad um, customer service. But anyways, Brad had to go back to duty. I don't have a car anymore and the kids, we were hungry. Um, but Brad had to go back and we couldn't stop to get anything to eat So I'm like holy crap. What am I gonna make them? I can't even go buy them stuff So and I have nothing in my fridge because I didn't go grocery shopping because we're not gonna be here any much longer So I found rice so I made rice and spam and Lucas had spam and eggs and Zach had what did you have Zachy? rice cucumber and <laughs> those patty sausages like i gave him a ton of that so hopefully that fills them up a little or a lot because um i have nothing else to give <laughs> and i was gonna order pizza but i'm like that's gonna take too long they, they were like begging me for food so i'm like oh okay eat it so this is what i came up with and i'm pretty content with like i'm pretty full i'm pretty sure he's pretty full because he's still working on his food but and zach ate everything i got rice in my hand and so yeah i'm glad we're home it's but i'm pretty annoyed because today's our last like trash day that we can take out bulk and whatever we need to get rid of and of course brad i've been telling him all week to do this i'm like hey make sure you go through this box make sure what you want hey make sure you throw this away and put it by the curb he didn't do anything i feel like usually he doesn't do certain things that he needs to do and then i end up doing them and i have to do them because the garbage comes tomorrow he's gonna be in duty tomorrow in the morning too so I'm pretty annoyed with him right now that I spent the last, I want to say like 45 minutes trying to take things out while I was like cooking and then trying to take stuff out and feed the boys. But that is done, at least for now. Um, and what? Mm, so that's going to be, so I'm like eating. That's gonna be all for this video because I'm pretty sure it's long already. Because I get, I don't know, I feel like I did a lot of talking. So, like, subscribe. You can't comment, so I guess don't comment. And yeah, we'll see you guys. You'll see us in the next video. Here's bye. Bye.
Bye. <laughs>